Hi everyone, my name is Bailey Chastain. I'm a senior MT at the conservatory and I'm so excited to launch my new weekly bullet journaling series in partnership with Campus Life. So bullet journaling is a creative way to organize your days and plan for your future. I also find that it's a really great artistic and stress relieving outlet for me. Luckily, you don't need much to get started with bullet journaling. All you need is a journal with dotted pages like this, writing utensils. You can use pens, pencils, markers, highlighters, whatever you have on hand. If you're like me and like straight lines, I recommend getting a small ruler to help you out with that. And then after that, it's really up to you. You can use stickers, decorative tape, magazine clippings, whatever your heart desires. Today I'm going to show you how to make one of the most basic, essential bullet journal pages. It's called a habit tracker. A habit tracker is a page that you fill out every day. It helps you keep track of things you're doing, such as eating breakfast, drinking enough water, going out to eat, spending money, exercising, the list goes on. So the first thing we're going to need to do for our habit tracker is to make the outline. I find it most helpful to make this layout horizontally as opposed to vertically on the page. That's because you're gonna need at least 30 to 31 squares across, depending on the month, to have a square for each day. And I leave about seven squares to write out each habit. So let's do it. Next, we need to make the grid that goes inside of the habit tracker. First, I'm going to draw a vertical line to separate the habits from the days, and then I'm going to finish out the whole grid. So follow along and see how it all comes together. The next step is to use the top row to label habits and then all the days of the month. Now comes the fun part. Pick three to four of your favorite colors and use them to fill in each habit you want to keep track of. I'll be flipping back and forth between April and May to transfer the habits I kept track of last month to this month. We're almost done. All that's left to do now is to make the heading. You can make this however you want, there are no wrong answers, but for now I'll just show you how to make the one that I use. There you go, your very own habit tracker. It's super simple to use. All you have to do is at the end of each day, find the day's date, and then go down the line and color in the things that you did. It's that simple. I hope that y'all enjoyed this tutorial. Tune in next week for another installment.